Hi, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. This love reading for July is for Virgos. And what I do is I have, I put down three cards for where you are now, three cards for your influences or things you're not aware of, and then three cards for uh, action to take, action to avoid, or future, and then one card for the final vibe for the month. Um, when I meditate, I meditate on each sign beforehand and I saw dirt. I don't know what Virgo is an earth sign, but I saw like in the dirt, like my hands are dirty. The dirt is black, but fertile. So it could be that you're gardening or growing something or outside. And it just could be that you're very grounded and, or maybe you're low inside the ground and you feel like you're kind of stuck, but the dirt is very loose. It's not like you're in the ground. But I do see like you're you're moving out. You want to move on. You're you're done with something. You're a little frustrated. This is somebody who's been battling for a while, and he's been holding his own. And this one is moving on to bigger and brighter things. So you are going to calmer waters. You have have this influence. This was the first card. So general influences is that you're you're moving on to easier things. You've been kind of struggling for a while. Um, for whatever that might be, what area of your life that might be. But this is love ring, so maybe it's self-love, love for somebody else. He's a pentacle, so you have a great opportunity to start. You're starting something new. So you've gone from leaving something heavy behind and moving on. So this is offer as well. So maybe there's something you're unaware of that's going to, that is just beginning or it has already started for you. And you're, you have a great opportunity to take that and run with it. Pentacles are um, a real sign. So they do relate to the earth, um, signs like Capricorn, Virgo, and, um, Taurus. Yeah. So maybe there's a Taurus person that's helping you. Um, okay. Actually, or things that are out of your awareness, things that are, that I, we need to know for Virgo. Okay. Um, there's 10 of wands out of your awareness. I think it's that there might be a little depression that's happening that is influencing how you're seeing yourself or this situation right now. Um, but you also have the nine of cups. The 10 of wands is related to the seven of wands right there. So, but this is about completing that. It's a big burden you've been carrying. Um, I don't know if it's health related or life related, or maybe it has to do with people or things that you have responsibilities that are weighing you down and that's quite possible so that's keeping you a little bit in that dirt I was talking about but dirt is very fertile and grows everything so that's the best part of it um, you've also had opportunity somebody's going to offer you something it could be a young man or it could be the young person around you maybe a child or a grandchild or something that's going to help you maybe get out and um there's also this opportunity to to be aware in your dreams, things that, and it could be other people that have passed on that are talking to you, family members, or when you're dreaming, you get some subconscious, subconscious awareness. And that's when we get a lot of great ideas if you allow yourself. So I'm feeling that if you are um, in that state, and Virgos tend to be real earthy, obviously. So if they're the only way sometimes is if they allow their meditate and let their mind, their conscious mind relax and allow the ideas and the angels and ancestors and saints and God or whoever speak to you and get to your heart. It's all this opportunity for you to receive. So that's outside of you or things that you're not aware of that opportunities for you. And, um, so the influence is really good there. So you have this wonderful way or people or being spiritual guides to help you. Um, you just have to let go of all the day-to-day -day stuff maybe and look to the higher realms. Action to take. Uh, things to avoid. Um, okay, so these would be just relax. That's the thing I get with this. this is challenges. So there's some things that when you start to make these changes and want to meet somebody or get out and find that love that you're looking for, 
it's not going to, it may not flow as easy. You still have all these responsibilities and burdens, of, obviously, because Virgos tend to be the worker bees. So maybe you put too much on your shoulders. But I don't feel like this is the end or anything. It's just little bumps, little hiccups, things you have to like get done or things that you, you know, maybe argue with somebody, to, them to do it, delegate maybe. And then the chariot is speed and action and going for a drive and traveling and um, um, getting two disparate or two different things to go in the same direction. So it could be that you think things can only be one way and you don't have a choice, but you do have a choice and you just have to wrap your head around that. And we all have choices. There's a meditation that I have. It's called Creating Choice. It's on my YouTube channel if you want to look at that. Um, actually, I'll put it at the end here so you can see it. And then Seven of Cups. You do, <laughs> look at all these choices it's got. doesn't necessarily mean all of them are good choices um, because sometimes this means too much of a good thing. So, But you do have lots of choices. So these are all sevens or this is a, a five. There's a lot of changes. A lot of changes and the chariot is a seven and this is a seven, which are both spiritual numbers. Now I'm going to pull maybe one or two cards for the rest or for the, I had to answer a phone. So I pulled a card for the month of July and this is very similar to these other ones where you're going to have lots of choices. This one is, is kind of about balance, but it's real things that you're going to pick between. So this has two choices. These have challenges. There's other choices. So You have the opportunity to get in the lane on a path because you've been wanting to move on. That's going to work for you. And right now you're setting the stage because you're at the place where you're um, releasing a lot of responsibilities, uh, letting go of things that you can delegate, giving them to other people. Uh, and you will have so many choices that you have to pick between a couple. <clears throat> and these are pentacles, and they're, so they're real choices. They're not just imaginary. Um, so maybe take some action. Maybe go for a drive, too. This could be that travel and get your head clear. Bike ride. Something where, walk even. Something that you can get out and see clear, and you will have this opportunity to... Um, get that resolution and that self-love that you've been looking for and also be open to a new opportunity for love I think you have this wonderful guidance from above <clears throat> and you need to use it and it's all there so look how happy and she has such faith in uh, where she is I'll get stuck in what isn't and just start imagining and manifesting so you can have what is hope that resonates with you until next time thanks for coming